Street Talks is Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. Currently live from Singapore with my buddy Callan at his place. So I just tested out the Leica MD for a day, not a long time, but if you guys haven't heard, it's the digital camera with no LCD screen. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably thinking this is the stupidest hipsterest camera ever. <laughs> and trust me, like for fanboys like me who love film, who love the rangefinder experience, this is actually the coolest thing that Leica has made. I think ever. It's probably the only digital M to get in my opinion. Either that or the Leica Type 262 which is the stripped down uh, Leica M which is a little bit less expensive, doesn't have live view and is a lot lighter. So to give you guys a quick tour of the Leica MD, so I just tested this out from Leica, I actually don't own this. Uh, I have the 23, uh, the 28 millimeter lens on it and if you just check out the styling it's styled like the Leica M-P or an MP where you don't see any Leica logo in the front which is like more stealth in street photography and the top plate is really nice and simple and minimalistic you could just see that there is just a simple Leica typeface as well as the standard M240 controls and once again the biggest difference is the fact that there's no LCD screen and the way you change the, LCD, uh, the ISO is from this little dial, this little dial here which is almost exactly how you would push film or change the meter in the film Leicas, especially the film Leica MPs. A subtle thing that they've done differently too is there's a little step down aesthetic similar to the Leica M9 and I think just aesthetically it looks nicer and the things that you'll also notice is that there's this little button here which is used to either change your exposure compensation or you know, check how many photos you have left as well as this little dial back here which will change your exposure compensation if you're shooting aperture priority mode. And probably the thing that I was personally the most curious about this camera is how does this experience differ from shooting with a traditional camera when shooting street photography or photography in general. First of all, there's no chimping, so chimping as in checking your LCD screen after you're taking a photo. So I'm guilty of this, everyone's guilty of this, is after you're taking a photo with a digital camera click, you instantly want to look at the photo that you got. But the problem in street photography is that this removes you from being in the zone when you're shooting in the streets. And the wonderful thing about not having an LCD screen is that you have fewer distractions when you're shooting. And I very much love the Apple Steve Jobs philosophy of rather than adding functions to a, a device, removing distractions from a device. So if you think about the iPhone, the reason why it was so revolutionary, got rid of the keyboard, got rid of all these unnecessary buttons, it was simple, minimalist and zen. Leica, whoever was the, the product manager behind the MD. Congrats to you, you guys have huge balls for actually having the guts to take out a feature that so many photographers think they need. But I think really the best way to become a better photographer is to make this camera as simple as possible, to strip it down as minimalistic as possible. One of the big questions people wonder is, is the price worth it? It's priced at about 5,000 US dollars and up. And so once again, it's not a cheap camera by any standards. But if you're in the, the market for a digital Leica M, I think it is the best one to get at the moment. But once again, the reason is that by not having an LCD screen, you're not gonna be distracted on the streets. And also my prediction is that because there's fewer electrical components, you're gonna have less problems with the camera over time and it's probably gonna last a lot longer. And for those of you guys who are curious, when you take photos, it saves as a DNG RAW file. No option for JPEGs or anything else. And it just helps you just focus on shooting. And I shot for a day in the in Chinatown in Singapore. And once again, it kind of gave me that zen minimalist feel of shooting film. And not only that, but I'm kind of excited to see my photos on my laptop later when I download them. I know I'm going to be massively disappointed because it's kind of like shooting film. You take all these photos, you're like, oh, I'm sure I caught some good ones. You download them, you're, you're disappointed a little bit later. But every once in a while, you get one or two shots which surprises you. So once again, like MD, is it hype or the real deal? I actually think it's a real deal. I think it's really freaking cool. And once again, uh, huge ups to Leica for being innovative, figuring out what to remove rather than add. I think it stays local, um, stays loyal to the Leica brand and the heritage. And the question is whether I'm gonna buy one? Probably not because I already have a film Leica at home. But I think anyone else who's interested in a digital M, MD, congrats Leica, you made a great camera. And for those guys shooting street photography or wanna make your photos feel more zen and just slow down your process, the MD is for you. All right, thanks a lot for watching guys. Until next time, peace out.